Hello guys and welcome to Vlogin Project. In the today's quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get Google applications running on your beautiful Sharp Z3. Because by default, it ships with the Chinese ROM and instead of, you know, having Google applications, you've got a bunch of Chinese applications, which are not very helpful. If you're somebody like me who relies heavily on the Google applications, you will need to flush the Taiwanese ROM. In order to do that, you don't need a computer, you don't need cables, you don't need routing your device, nothing like that. All you need is a good Wi-Fi connection and to watch this video, of course. So basically, we're going to download the Taiwanese from the official one and we're going to flush it. I'm going to show you how to do that. Go to this Panda-like application and you have to go to the Sharp official website. I'm going to submit the link in the description down below. You click on that. And now you see Sharp Z3. You click on the third one over here. I don't know how is it called. And now you click download. This is the latest firmware over here, guys. You have to click over here on this button. Now, it's very important to paste or to download this update on the root of the uh, storage of the phone. In order to do that, you just go to the gear icon. You come back as much as you can over here to SD. Let's see. Okay, so this option over here, the second option over here, and you press the OK button here. And now I have totally no idea which button you have to press, but let's presume is the first button. And yes, <laughs> our download has already started. Now the update itself is something like two and a half gigs, something like that. So it might take a while depending on your internet connection. Let me just download that and I'll show you what to do later on. Okay, guys, so now in order to check if you have downloaded the update properly, go to the file manager applications is built in. Swipe down and you can see the update over here. So the next thing we got to do is go to the dialer, press star hash star hash eight seven four hash star hash star. And you can see install system update software prompt over here. Read and agree. Install now. And pretty much that's it. You are done. If for some reason it says file not found, it's either you have downloaded some other package or basically you didn't put it in the correct folder. So you can go back to the file manager and then move the file to the root of your uh, phone, guys. And pretty much that's it. Now, all you got to do is wait for the update to install and I'm going to come back a little bit later on and show you the Google applications running. OK, guys, so your firmware is pretty much ready. Now, check this out. When you go to settings, go to where is it? About phone. Android 7 security patch from let's see let's see let's see 1st of December 2017 that's the latest firmware can you imagine and that's the build number WW which means that the worldwide firmware has been installed now you might find a bug where you can't see any of your applications basically only gallery settings one way to fix that is go to settings and after that you have to find apps 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 check this out you've got Chrome You've got Drive, you've got all the Google applications already installed. So from here you go to System and after that you have to find the launcher. Which was, let me see what was the name of the launcher guys. Launcher Plus. Yes, now go to Storage, Clear Cache, Clear Data and now for Stop. And now when you exit, you should be able to have your applications. So you've got the Google applications, you've got the create, you've got Play Store, you've got pretty much everything else, guys. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. If you like my video, if I manage to help you out, hit the thumbs up button. It's going to help the video to get a better discovery quite a lot. Subscribe to Vlogging Project as well and wait for my full, uh, full review of this phone in a few weeks' time. Thank you very much for watching again and see you later.